Mark Salzman's The Soloist is a beautifully written memoir that explores the author's relationship with his cello, which he named Carl, and the role music played in his life as he struggled with his identity and place in the world. The book opens with Salzman describing how he discovered the cello at the age of seven and fell in love with the instrument's deep, rich sound. From that moment on, he devoted himself to practicing and perfecting his craft, eventually becoming a professional cellist and earning a spot in the prestigious Yale Symphony Orchestra. However, Salzman's relationship with Carl is complicated by his own self-doubt and insecurity. He struggles to find his own voice as a musician and often feels overshadowed by his fellow musicians, whom he perceives as more talented and accomplished than himself. This internal struggle is compounded by his struggle to reconcile his love of music with the expectations of his traditional Chinese-American family, who view music as a hobby rather than a serious career. Salzman's journey to find his own voice as a musician is complicated by his encounters with other musicians, including a talented but troubled violinist named Lenny, whom he meets while performing in a subway station. Lenny, who is homeless and struggling with mental illness, becomes a fixture in Salzman's life, and their interactions force Salzman to confront his own preconceptions and biases about mental illness and homelessness. Through his interactions with Lenny, Salzman begins to see the transformative power of music not just for himself, but for others as well. He witnesses how music can transcend barriers of class, race, and mental illness and bring people together in a way that nothing else can. This realization ultimately leads him to start teaching music to homeless children in a local shelter, and to use his talent and passion for music to make a positive difference in the world. One of the most striking aspects of The Soloist is Salzman's beautiful prose and vivid descriptions of music. He captures the essence of music in a way that is both lyrical and precise, and his descriptions of Carl and his performances are both intimate and awe-inspiring. Salzman also writes with great sensitivity and empathy, especially in his depictions of Lenny and the other homeless people he encounters. He never sensationalizes their struggles or their mental illnesses, but instead portrays them with great dignity and respect. Overall, The Soloist is a moving and inspiring memoir about the power of music to transform lives. Salzman's journey to find his own voice as a musician is a universal one, and his struggles with self-doubt and insecurity will resonate with anyone who has ever felt like an outsider. But his interactions with Lenny and the homeless children he teaches also remind us of the transformative power of music, and how it can bring hope and healing to even the most difficult situations. Ultimately. The Soloist is a testament to the power of human connection and the role that art can play in building bridges between people and communities.